Hello everyone and welcome back to Chronos Place for Sona 5 Royal. Today we're gonna do this crossword. We're gonna check TV first, actually. Oh, they're talking about the employee burning down his workplace. I mean that sucks. Uh but yeah, let's go ahead and do this crossword. Uh play a little. Let's see, changes with the season. Um The letters are there for it. So, wardrobe? Now, where is it? There, and then... There? Yeah. That one's actually real easy. In Japanese schools, students change their wardrobe twice annually, in the summer and the winter, for comfort's sake. It said that the practice originated in China during the Edo, Edo period. Uh, people were supposed to change their wardrobes four times a year. All right. I Fair see. enough. Not I mean, my wardrobe doesn't really change. <laughs> my coat changes. Like in summer and spring, I wear a windbreaker. But my general clothes just is always the same. I wear t-shirts year-round. Nice. Um, I don't really do sweaters. I have some hoodies that occasionally I'll wear, but nothing really, uh, nothing really, like, drastic change. Oh, do you want to hang out? That's tempting. But I'm gonna hang out with the catchy. Maybe tomorrow night. I would rather work on my charm, though. When I have a free time. Actually, tomorrow is Saturday. No, Friday. So, like, I'm gonna probably definitely be hanging out with Kawakami if given the chance. Justine. Hopefully. Are you sure? That's the devil persona. We don't Justine. have... What do you no, wish no, 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 no. Give me here. Uh, so, register only by Akana. Do we have justice? Justice. We have an angel. Is this what you feel with justice? Sure. This, this is your power. Are you finished? I am finished. What? So yeah, I didn't mean to do that. Um, it is time. We'll inmate. talk to. I don't know. Well, we're gonna hang out with the catch today, absolutely. Her and the well, her and Justine or the twins. I do want to do this stuff. I know people are saying that like it's not as beneficial, but it's new content and I want to see it. So we're gonna do that, and I, I like skill cards, they come in handy, but right now we're gonna go hang out with Akechi. I just gotta figure out when's it gonna be a good time to actually do that. Oh, you hang out here too? Huh, okay, well I mean, I guess they did say anywhere uh, where, oh he's up there, okay. Anywhere there's a velvet door, right? Oh, this is the the kid I heard the from the imported protein from. Oh, was that guy there? This is ridiculous. No, it is totally ridiculous, isn't it? Hi, Catchy, what's up? Just kind of boy in the rain, I guess. Hi. Oh, hey, Norakun. Good evening. I want to talk to you, but since we have the time, do you want to play billiards together? It's not that difficult, and we can chat and play at the same time. How about it? I mean. I guess. What do you want to do? Sure, let's do it. I'm glad I asked. I was a little worried you turned me down. Well then, let's get going. You're gonna walk around in the rain, dog? That's weird. That's good my... to hear. Okay. I found myself with some free time, so I was hoping to find someone to play against. Uh, you always seem busy. Do you have no friends? That's probably a little too me. So you seem busy. I wouldn't say I'm unoccupied, but I'm not sure... I'm not busy all the time, either. If anything, it's my policy to spend my time, spare time in meaningful ways. That's a good policy. Now, let's play a game. You've played pool before, correct? <laughs> oh, my apologies. A break ace. Is that your win? Not bad. You know what? Not bad! It's just a coincidence. Of course, the game won't count. Let's start over. Hmm. Huh. Bad move on my part. If we get this, if you get this next one, I'm in trouble. Huh. 
Not bad. Everything's running on your next shot, though. How will you handle this? Uh, shoot very carefully. I'll go for a power shot. You know what? I'll do it carefully. Huh. Let's see your skills. God damn it. Dots. That wasn't enough force. I didn't even reach the socket pocket. Should have went for a power shot. I win. That was a close one, though. I suppose it would have been embarrassing to lose to your senior, huh? Or as your senior. Dots. Something seems off. Thank you. That, that's great news. I sense something in you that's quite different from the other people. I guess you can call it my detective's intuition. <laughs> Kidding, of course. My apologies to break ace. Is something the matter? You used your right hand. Aren't you left-handed? Uh, so he's going easy on us. Huh? That's not bad. I'm honestly impressed you noticed. That's right. This one's my dominant hand. I switch hands during the game. It's not anything against you. Going all out against you just seems a bit gauche. But I confess, you surprised me. I'm rather dexterous with my right hand. I can even use chopstick with it. Frankly, I didn't expect you to see through it. Uh, maybe I'll be a detective. No holding back next time. I'll, I see a lot of things. I mean, I do see a lot of things. I mean, yeah. Sometimes. <laughs> oh, those glasses are just for aesthetics. Uh, the, so those glasses are just for uh, glasses are just for aesthetics then. Or were you being metaphorical? You're a hard one to read sometimes. In any case, you truly are interesting. You never cease to intrigue me. Okay. Uh, sleuthing instincts. Chance to reveal one enemy affinity at the start of battle. Ooh. All right. I like that. If you ever manage to win against me using my right hand, then I will face you with everything I have. You have my word. Goodbye then. See ya. Ring, 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 banana phone. Hey, thanks for coming along today. Our little game turned out to be more interesting than I expected. Really, anyone notices when I don't use my dominant hand. I can only commend your powers of observation. I think you'd be an interesting influence on me. If you're so inclined, we could go out again sometimes. Uh, sure, as rivals, I'll think about it. Um, sure. <laughs> thanks, I'm honored. Well, I suppose I'll reach out the next time something comes up. See ya. Yeah, you do that. Now, when you say you're going to reach out, you mean you're actually going to reach out, or do I have to find your ass? I feel like I'm probably going to have to find your ass. Ugh. i got to finish my charm. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. So, we meet again. But my, what murky weather we're having. Yeah, literally, we hung out last night, dog. Speaking of murky... There haven't been any new developments in the Phantom Thief incidents. If they go so far as using calling cards to get attention, I doubt Matarame's case will be the last. And probably not. What kind of target will they choose next? Mafia boss. What do you think? Criminal, I would think. The Phantom Thieves only target criminals, huh? Is that really true? Supposing it is, there are plenty of villains in the world. How do they choose who to go after? Well, currently they're choosing one because they're being blackmailed by the student council president. Hmm. Oh, sorry. I'm getting lost in my own head. I have to stay on top of any Phantom Thieves activity due to what I said on the air. If you hear any rumors at school, I hope you can let me know. So we're not going to have another day, right? For real? We didn't get anything? God, they suck. <laughs> and we're going nowhere with this. Hey, can't we ask Miss President to change it up? You mean, change our target? Just gotta show our justice to satisfy her, right? There are tons of shitty adults in this world. It's not like it matters who we're going after. I mean, it kind of matters to her because she wants to fix the school issue. She says this is for the students, but I bet it's just so she can go brag about it on college apps. 
But that mafia is stealing money from kids. Yeah, it's kind of important. We can't just accept that. It doesn't matter who the target came from anymore. Ons right. We want to give courage to the weak. Isn't this the perfect target to accomplish that goal? I really have no talent. <laughs> Never thought it'd be this noisy if you weren't singing. Anyways, I'm sure we'll shut a catchy up if we pull this off. Oh, probably definitely not. That's exactly why we should do it. It all comes down to intel in the end. Are you allowed in here, Morgana? If we don't start finding tips on that front, we'll never get any further than this. There has to be someone who has what we need. What about the media? But who can we just, someone think for me? What about the media? That's right. What about that journalist? Oh yeah, oh yeah. You mean the woman who was staking out Matarame's house? Oh, yeah, I completely forgot about her. Didn't she give you her card? I literally just ran into her the other day. This is for a rather major publication. Think we can trust her? No, oh, probably not. There's no other way. Okay, let's contact her. Oh, yes. Thank you. He says our time's up. Should we extend it? Happy hour's over, yeah? Eh, come on. Let's just go. Sure. What does that actually happy hour even entail? Just half prices? Oh, how wasteful. I mean, I agree. <coughs> All right, Yusuke? <sighs> Anyways, I guess we just gotta wait for that journalist to email us back. Let us know ASAP when she responds. Got it? Sure. Friday, so we're, we're gonna probably hang out with Kawakami if they let me. Please let me. Hey. I'm, I'm definitely <sighs> sticking my business into other people's business. Sorry. Is it Becky? Oh, it's Becky! Hey, we should end this. By the way, you should totally hire me. Focus. So, like, I gotta yes. check, because last time I did the, the, the sensor thing, it wasn't blue. At least it didn't look blue to me, so it might have been just a light blue. Um... Yeah, looks like Becky is game. Is there anything? I mean, there's the twins, but yeah, I think I'd rather hang out with Becky. Though I do want to hang out with the twins when I get a free night, but that can wait till like Monday or something. It's Becky. Just kidding. I told you this already, but I've been deceiving you. Sorry again. Stop spending your money on me. Got it. Yeah, let's request her. What? Are you serious? Fine, I'll be there and right there. Why do they keep teaching you until you understand? What do you say? Oh, she's pissed! <laughs> Are you serious? I told you the story about my six little sister was a lie. You know you're being used for money and you still request me. Um, it's fun. Who's the master here? That's yeah, fun. Huh? Are you an extreme masochist or something? Oh, I guess I should have said I'm who's the master here. I mean, you really are one strange kid. I'm a mediocre teacher and a mediocre maid. Look, I can't really comment on your teaching ability. You seem to be doing all right there. At least you care about some of your students um, in terms of like what we've seen. You are horrible, me, because you don't do anything. And yet you listen to everything I have to say. You're the complete opposite of me. I don't even properly attend my to my students' needs. Okay, I guess you're not that good of a teacher. Dots. So... Money is actually an apology. There was a student named uh, Takashi uh, at the school I taught at before Shujin. Takase? Is it Takase-kun? Was considered a problem child since he had the lowest grades and skipped school a lot. So I put him in charge of guiding him, or rather pushing him to transfer to another school. 
When I got to know him, I realized that he wasn't a problem child at all. In fact, he was working several part-time jobs just so he could cover his living expenses. His relatives took him in when his parents died, so he had to make money to support himself. He couldn't attend school every day, but he was motivated to study. That's why I decided to tutor him. After I started working with him, his grades started to improve, slowly but surely. But I was told that it was wrong to only help certain students and not others. Ah, then a strange rumor about him being a juvenile delinquent began to circulate. On top of that, I got called into the principal's office. He threatened me, saying that I'd be dismissed if I continued to tutor Takase... Takase... Kun? Takase... 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 Yes. Also, that is indeed terrible. Yeah! But you could say the same about me. I got scared of losing my job and having rumors spread about me, so I canceled our upcoming tutoring ses sessions. Takase-kun was on his way to one of his part-time jobs when I told him. Of all, out of all the days, it was New Year's Eve, and it had been pouring out or pouring rain all day, and he died in a car crash. He sounded so depressed when I told him that I couldn't tutor him anymore, but then he said that it was no big deal because he had to work anyways, so I wouldn't feel so I wouldn't feel bad. If only I kept my promise to him. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. Takase Kun was exhausted from the tutoring sessions and working at all his part time jobs. His guardians blamed me for the accident, saying it was all my fault that he had he was so tired. They said that they were going to sue me and take the issue to the media and board of educations. I wouldn't have been accused of a crime, but if word had gotten out the school would have done have been done for. I wanted to continue teaching no matter what, so I ended up paying them an apology money. The apology money, so they wouldn't sue me or any say anything. <sighs> You're okay with that? It was my indecisiveness that backed me him into a corner, and I blame myself every day. I I know paying them isn't going to bring him back, but it's the only way I can atone for my sins. Not really. It seems like his guardians are satisfied with our arrangements, so dots. See, nothing good ever comes from getting involved with me. I have to keep my distance to avoid hurting others, so I don't meddle in my students' lives. I've been coming here because of a random twist of fate, but we should say goodbye as well. Um... You know what? Yeah, I want to see you again. No, Kuhn. You're really not the type to back down, are you? <laughs> I guess we're in this together now that I told you the whole story, right? Yeah. I'll see what I can do about the other teachers so you get some more free periods with them. I look forward to you continuing your relationship. Free time. Gain free time in other teachers' classes with Kawakami's help. That could All come right. in handy. If I could, I mean, would come in handy. Alrighty, time to clean. I'm going to put more energy into it than usual today. Cough, cough. Ugh. Oh my, the room is so dusty. I mean, it is. I can see the dust in the air, but still. Even though I wipe the place squeaky clean every visit. Well, I guess it's all for you, Master. I'll work hard to earn my keep. Uh, hmm. Oh, wow. It's so dusty. If my cough is already this bad, maybe we're better off tearing this place down than, than trying to clean it. Well, the shabby, I mean, the cheekness of this room is truly, is truly its charm, so let's keep it as is. Alright, I have to go. Thank you so much. I'll be eagerly awaiting your next request, Master. I need to get more money. Oh, is this Master? Thank you for using your service today. Thoughts? <sighs> this is so soul draining. I'm just going to talk normally. No point of making sale calls this late anyways. By the way, I always wanted to ask, do you live in that cafe, uh, do you live in that cafe right now? There's always this nice curry smell around this pla the place. Do you get to eat that place's curry every day? Curry is all I eat. You want some? Oh, then I can serve it to you. Imagine it was cooked by your own maid with lots of love. Okay, that was a joke, but God, I could really go for some homemade curry right now. Cough, cough. Sorry, can't just shake this cough. I've been so busy lately. But I'll always be ready for waiting for Master to request me. Okay, don't stay up too late.
Makoto. I received a call from your school today. They're asking if you made any lifestyle changes recently. Huh? <sighs> I gave them a suitable enough answer, but is there some kind of issue at school? No, it's nothing. I'm sorry to worry you. Hey. You've been coming home late these days. I doubt you would do such a thing, but try to avoid wandering around Shibui late at night. I heard stories of girls' raids throwing their lives away out there. Getting wrapped up in shady deals, blackmailed in the sex, wor sex work. I've heard rumors about that as well. People have been mentioning it at school. These aren't just mere rumors. I know a, a few such cases. <sighs> well, it should be nothing for you to worry about. Just concentrate on your studies for now. <laughs> They're unforgivable. So... No school? No, no, like, no day stuff again, probably? Yo, did that recorder get in touch with you yet? We only just emailed her the other day. Why are you so... why are you so hasty? I don't know, I've been looking for info, but I can't find a damn thing. We only got two weeks left, man. Duh, we're in a hurry. Be precise, it's ten days. We ain't gonna have much time, even if we start right after she, she responds. Looks like this battle will have to be a quick one, then. I must also consider that, uh, consider what we do is in case she fails to respond entirely. Hey, don't jinx this! I was really discussing all the possible outcomes. Are you nervous about this? Nervousness will not help us solve anything at this point. Where, where, where the, where that the solution to our problems, I would be much quicker to turn to panic. Wow, oh, he's like some kind of philosopher. Right, he's just an idiot. <laughs> That's mean. After school, do I have time? Mm. Ichima Senpai, aren't you going to help me? You said you would keep it a secret, but rumors have started getting out. Wait, you didn't leak that information, did you? Calm down. They're still targeting you? Even that delinquent found out. He might try and threaten me. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I said I would never do that! Why is this happening to me? I can't afford to keep paying. I'm gonna blackmail you in a second if you keep this up. I found some clues regarding your incident. I just need you to wait a bit longer. You're really gonna help? Everyone thinks you're just doing it for a letter of recommendation. That is not true. My goal here is to protect the students of this school. And please, please hurry. Free time? We'll just have to wait for a word? Alright. Sorry to bother you while you were expecting information from the journalist. Journalist, However, do you remember that thread about the group of burglars in Shibuya? It seems the one who posted about it, his brother, is a student at my school. And so after some prodding, I was able to pry a few more details out of him. Oh right, I was actually wondering about that. It didn't sound like they had anything to do with the mafia we've been chasing. Indeed, now I was able to ascertain his brother's name. It's Kazuya Makigami. Dude, it's freaking crazy that someone involved in that shit goes to your school. Nice going, Yusuke. Oh, and you even found the name of the guy we're looking for. That was super awesome. All we gotta do now is punish him in the Oh, yeah, okay, the burglar. Yeah, sorry. I was just... I'm like, what does this have to do with the mafia stuff? This burglar guy isn't gonna be near as scary as this mafia. He's just a plain dude, right? We'll show him what being a fan of these really about. It seems we have a unanimous then. We are unanimous then. We can further discuss the details at the hideout. Hmm. Okay. Burglar thieves versus burglar ring. We have an IM. Yeah. We're probably gonna be going to the palace soon, so I might just wait on Ma uh, Mafia. No, uh, Mentos till later. What are your plans? <sighs> oh, okay. Yusuke. No. We're gonna finish off Ryuji. Yes. He's level 9. Though, if we get... Like, the first level of Yusuke... What are we, we're gonna get, like, what? What the hell was the first level of these guys? Punk Talk? I don't think that was the first level. 
was that? I mean, it literally looked like the first level. So it probably was. Where the hell is Anz? Oh, there you go. Girl talk, okay. Let's just finish off Ryuji, right? Then we don't have to worry about having a chariot card if we need to get rid of one. Hey. Yo. Was there anything I needed to do today? I don't. Oh, 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 yes, 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 yes. Sorry, 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 sorry. I'll deal with you in a second. We need to go talk to this lady down here. Get a, a, a knowledge point or something. Hi. Hi there. Hey, Apparently, I just need questions? to select everything you have about this city. Well, I'm probably not gonna read it all, so if you want to like check it out, like read it out aloud, I should say, uh, definitely pause the video because there's probably gonna be a lot of information here. Uh, please continue. Yes. Ah, uh, okay. I was kind of thinking we were gonna be able to get like the other options. Recommendations? Uh, how about for adults? What? You think mine is going to go into the jazz club, huh? Well then. <laughs> well then. You look kind of familiar, actually. Actually, Desk Lady. The outfit does, anyways. Actually. Is there anything else? Is this gonna give me that point? You didn't give me the point, though. I, mean, I guess we could try this one, and then something unique. Did you know? Come again. Oh, that was quite a lot of information. Yeah. All right. Cool. Oh, we got it. The Big Bang Burger as well. But Ryuji, let us go and train. And finish your goddamn persona. And this is gonna be voiced, yeah? Like, the final one's always voiced? Ah, uh, this is a perfect way yeah. to fail after some training. By the way, the track team's up and running again. Yamauchi got taken down pretty quick. Good. You know Takeishi's mom is the PTA press, right? He told her everything. After that, she came storming in with the other parents and forbid the whole scouting plan. Oh, wish I could have seen the look on Yamauchi's face. <laughs> I mean, the school can't ignore the PTA. And as a result, the track team's back. Our old coach is filling in for now. Man, it serves that dick right. <laughs> what a great feeling. <laughs> I think they might even go far in the meet. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> Hell yeah! Oh crap, the ramen's gonna get soggy. Let's eat! Woo! <laughs> that was awesome. To tell the truth, I was scared of facing those guys straight up. Mm, I mean, yeah, that could have been really awkward. I couldn't stand how much they hated me. That one just made me think of how stupid I was. Most of all, it made me remember how I lost my place with him. Hey, this ain't like me, but... I managed to change because you were here helping me. I am pretty dope. I got you all wrapped up in this shit, but you stayed with me till the bitter end. You didn't abandon me. So, thanks, man. Uh, you're welcome. <laughs> I'll just take all the credit. <laughs> it's funny, huh? This started out as us training for the Phantom Thieves. <laughs> How'd it end up like this? I need you to level up so you get stronger. Either way, it's my turn now. If anything comes up, you tell me. I'll help you with whatever you need. Feel a strong bond with Ryuji. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast turned a vow into a blood oath. 
Thou hast awakened to the ultimate secret of the chariot, granting. Oh well, I got I got a new persona that I can unlock through this then, right? Second awakening. All right. All right. Chi you. I probably cannot fuse that thing like at all right now. True confidence. What do the thing look like? I don't remember. Oh! Uh, Alright. I can feel it. My new power. Okay, I guess. Alright. Saiten Taisi. Sure. Son Goku. Alright. Now I have that off. Well, I guess it wouldn't Let's be Goku, it would be like Wukong, right? First up. The Phantom Thieves. Dude, shut up. I'll be counting on you, leader. <laughs> Stop you yelling out about the Phantom Thieves. Hey, now that we're all fueled up, wanna race to the station? I mean, personally, no. Evade win. Is that... That's better than Dodge Room, right? Because it's greatly... What is it? Increases allies physical by 40%. Okay. Um, sure. What a change. Goes from friggin' Pirate Man to Monkey Man with a staff riding a cloud. Journalist responded to me. The Crossroads Bar. This is from that journalist, right? She wants to meet you there now? Sure. Looks like this Crossroads place is in Shinjuku. A meetup in Shinjuku. Sounds good. <laughs> Will you be my escort? That's the spirit. Try not to freak out just because Shinjuku's the nightlife district. Okay? How would you even know that? You should send everyone a message and let them know what you're up to. Yeah, just in case I go missing. Shinjuku at night, huh? That sounds rather dangerous. Where should we meet up? Stand by on. It'll be easy to move around with less of us. My apologies, I don't have the money to take a train there. And you're on standby, too. Me and Alex will go, okay? Got it. Val is going, I guess there's no need to worry. We'll leave it to you, then. Well, I guess that's that. Let's meet up in Shibuya. Be careful, you two. I shall be sure to save money for a situation like this from now on. Wait, are you gonna go in your school uniform? Yeah, why not? It would be bad for you to stand out. You should change before you go. Okay. I'll put on new pants. How about that? Then no one will be able to tell. You're in your uniform? Huh? No choice. I didn't have the time to go home. What are you talking about? We were just at the ramen place. People aren't gonna notice anyways with this t-shirt over it. Uh, you stand out. <laughs> I don't know. You think so? I thought this is normal. I'm surprised you were thinking anything. Look. It won't be my fault when the cops catch you. Don't worry about it. That place ain't so different from Shibuya. Come on, I'll guide you. If we're going to Shinjuku, we should probably hop on the JL. Okay. Just get out of this building, and then the ticket gate should be on the right. It's go time. Are you gonna make me walk there? You're not just gonna transport my ass there? Going to be okay. Oh god, no. So... Right? Like here? Huh? You sure? Oh, downstairs. See, you lied to me then. I probably wasn't paying attention. Oh, here? Like over here? That's Shibuya. Could read the signs. Or I could look at the map. No. Will you stop saying what is this? No, that's not it. What about over here? No, that's the same goddamn place. Uh, I guess we can try over here. It's at Sabuya, though. Oh, okay, it was that. Okay, sure. Woo, woo. Even though you're not old enough to drink, you want you are welcome to sit and chat. All right. But can I get a gin and tonic? Should you choose outside of the area where your commuter pass work? Yeah, that's fine. I don't care. It's only 160 bucks. By 160 bucks, I mean 160 yen. 160 bucks would be horrible. 
Also, I like that poster. I'd like to get one for my room. Whoa. Even at night, this place is bright as hell. I guess that's Shinjuku for you. Hey. Stop looking around so much. You look like a tourist. Whoa. I was trying to find that place we're looking for. Crossroads Bar is right up ahead. I'll sure. I'm sure we'll get there if we keep going straight. The guy's back. Welcome to Izakaya. Uh, how about some all-you-can-drink booze on the cheap? Wait, you're underage? Is that a problem? Huh, so you're just a kid. Get out of here. You're in their way. The hell? You're the one who was all wanting to talk to us. Hey, man, you want to come play? Touch all you want. No added fees. You have the cutest girls in the town. Tell me more. Did you really just ask that? Just ignore that guy, you idiot! No, no matter what, no matter what way you cut it, he's a shady character. But like, can I, can I go in here, or can I go in here? You have a moment? Oh, I have like plenty. Are you a student? You shouldn't be out this late. Is it against the law? I'm a high schooler. Hey, wait! We uh, graduated a long time ago. Well, we're adults, you know. Hmm? Are you a friend of his? Wait a second. I've seen the pattern on those pants before. I think it's called plaid. Maybe on the news. Oh, yeah. It was on that segment about the teacher who was harassing kids. Is that a school uniform? Oh, shit. Yeah, good job, Ryuji. You kids have got to be high schoolers. Come with me. Make a run for it! Shoot! This is why I said uniforms were a bad idea! Let's run! Oh, really? How much longer until we get there? What? Hey, it ain't our fault we had to deal with that detour. Our school's getting real famous. Hi. Uh, excuse me. Yes, hi. For the blonde one, I can sense impending woman troubles. Dude, that is not I even up for debate. Else. In any case, horrible disaster is coming for you. Please, let me examine your future further. What? Me? Yes, I suggest you get your fortune told. What I say will surely come to pass. Uh, more of this shit? <laughs> Sorry, but we're in a hurry. And I don't really believe in that stuff anyways. I see. My apologies. However, if you change your mind, I'll be waiting here in the spot. Oh, I'll be back. Trust me, I will be May back. Your fortunes be well. Man, do we need to avoid the cop? Like, you know, talk to him? God, that's so horrifying. This is the bar. This is the bar. Hi, bar. Whoa, man. We ain't old enough to hang out here. You sure this is the place? Dog, I got an invitation. Beer, whiskey, wine. Looks like nighttime is bar time. Going in our uniforms is probably a bad idea. Uh, we got caught last time, too. Just wait outside. I came all the way to Shinjuku and can't even go in? It's your own fault. Ugh, fine. I'll kill time somewhere nearby. Go to the maid Just cafe. Let me know when you're done. Welcome, welcome. Lala Chan! How old are you, boy? Sorry, Lala Chan. He's with me. Ooh, you picked up a real young one this time. Just don't let a minor drink alcohol, okay? You do sound kind of different, Lala. Hi. Lala chan, I'm gonna borrow the seats in the back. Go on back there. I'll treat you to some water. Sure. Ah, oh, she reeks of booze. She might have a problem. <laughs> what a surprise. I thought you were joking, yet here you are. I respect that bravery, so I'll listen to what you have to say. Well, what do you want to know? Uh, who controls Shibuya? Oh. Why that? I have business there? I need intel on their boss, yeah. Hmm. Well, I do happen to know something about that. I could tell you, but... Do you know the Phantom Thieves of Hearts? You know, that case the public has been focused on lately. I was pursuing the issue of people randomly entering into a shutdown state, but I'm lacking intel. That's why I'm currently looking for new material to write about. Hey, fair enough. So, do you have any info on these phantom thieves? I have all the info. 
Are those your terms? <laughs> Something like that. You're a Shujin kid, right? I remember you wearing their uniform the last time we met. I thought maybe you might have some insider knowledge on the Phantom Thieves because of it. Their first incident was that of Kamoshida, you know? Ideally, I'd like to get some exclusive coverage from a student who suffered Kamoshida's abuse. I would love an introduction if you know of someone who fits the bill. Oh, I do. It seems both you and I can't really do our I stuff. No, a couple out of people here. actually. So, what do you say? Hmm. A student who suffered from abuse. Oh, what about that Mishima guy? Oh yeah, he sure. He seems to be on the side of the Phantom Thieves. Uh, I know someone. It's a deal then. Send me your friend's contact info later. You'd better be thankful. My quick wit is the only reason we're getting this far. No, it's not. Now that I think about it, those mental shutdowns and the Phantom Thieves both seem supernatural. Could they be related? Or am I just hoping for a coincidence? Um, yeah, I don't know. Oh, sorry. I have a tendency to talk to myself on occasion. Yeah, relatable. Well then, you can't exactly consider this an upfront payment, but... Junya Kaneshiro. I think he's probably the guy you're looking for. Yes! You should check him out further if you're curious. But I'm not responsible for what happens next. Yeah, fair enough. Lala-chan, can I get a refill for this kid? <laughs> we need to make a toast to our new acquaintance. It'll be a problem if you stay too long. You should leave right no, after let's... you finish your water. No, let's just take shots with her. Yes! All right, we did it. We finally get info on the target. Let's meet up with Ryuji. How'd it go? Uh, nailed it. For real? Awesome! Anyways, we should meet up ASP. I'll be in front of the movie theater, so head over here. Uh, it's that kind of open area you passed on your way by. There's a movie so theater we here? we just have to go back the way we came, huh? All right, let's go. Where's there a movie theater? Oh, there is a movie theater. Hey, dog, what up? Hey! I'm tired of waiting. You get any dirt on the next target? For real? Do you not kind of Shiro? Hey! Not so loud! Do you not kind of Shiro and enter? All right. There we go! Okay, now we just gotta get some info on the distortion. Once we know that, then it's palace time. Wait. Let's try tomorrow. It'll be better when we have the whole team together. All right, I'll tell everyone to meet up in Shibuya. Yeah. It's totally crazy, though. It's a huge catch. I'm pumped. Oh, you're right. He would totally be a natural. Oh, no. But a graphic tee with plaid pants? Huh, kill me now. Huh, who the hell are they? Oh, hell has nothing to do with it, honey. I'm Angel, straight out of heaven. And I'm Julian. Jewel, if you're feeling saucy. Or Julie. What a cutie. You'd never guess he was into a drag into the drag scene. I say we show him the ropes. You can't deny it. We saw you peeking into the crossroads. Well, sweetie, if you're curious, we'll help you look divine. Whoa. Wait, hey, it's not like that. Dude, help. Tell them that we were just investigating or something. Knock him dead. Huh? You're just gonna leave me here like this? Come on, your best friend's in trouble here. I, I don't see Kawakami anywhere, dog. Oh, honey, you've got the shutspa and those cheekbones. I love it. That's what it takes to be a star. Just follow my lead, stud. We're gonna put your name in lights, and I know just the dress for you. I know someone like it. Cloud can help you out, and he has blonde hair, too. Um... Well, hopefully Ryuji finds his calling, or at least makes it out alive. Wanna head back? Hey, there's nothing else to do here, right? <laughs> so let's head, we're just gonna abandon Ryuji, I guess. Did you find any clues? I have a name. You did it! Well then, let's meet up in the hideout tomorrow. Understood. Ryuji seems to be absent from this conversation. Should we contact him separately? I'm sure he'll figure it out when he checks his phone later. We're pretty much already in Kaneshiro's palace. That was surprisingly easy. Yeah, wasn't too bad. Uh, 
All right, so you're not laying down, so do I actually have the chance to do anything? Hey, some girl just messaged me saying you told her about me? You said she's interested in me. What's this about? What kind of girl, what kind of girl is Oya-san? Is she cute or is she hot? Uh, yeah, you know, sh she's totally cute. Seriously? Oya-san, she said she wanted to talk. How much for can a girl get? Is this really what I think it is? Could it be? Oh, you'll find out, dog. Man, I'm so looking forward to this. I kind of feel awful about that. This is all thanks to you. I feel like starting the fan site was really changed me. Anyways, I'll handle this. You introduced me, introduced me, so I'll make sure I don't embarrass you. And I'll totally let you know if we end up hooking up. Oh, man. I just feel bad. That's it for this episode. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press the link below. If you're not subscribed yet, why don't you have a video so I can check out some of the content and see if it's to your liking. Once again, thank you for watching. Hope you all have a great day.